Hi everyone, let's understand how we can calculate probability of accepting null hypothesis and rejecting alternate hypothesis or vice versa, accepting the alternate hypothesis and fail to re and rejecting null hypothesis. So here is this the one very simple question, a very simple case, average weight of a product produced in a factory is 163 grams. The, we can see here the measured population standard deviation for the product produced is 1.5 gram. So how we can determine how many standard deviation is 165 grams from the mean? Simply we just want to calculate standard deviation for 165 grams from the mean. How we will solve this problem? You can see here population mean is given because population mean is this 163 grams. Population standard deviation is given. What is the population standard deviation? 1.5 grams. Both these things already given. But on the with the help of these two data, that is one is population mean, another one is population standard deviation. We want to calculate standard deviation for 165 gram from the mean. So first of all, we are going to apply here. You can see Z test X bar minus mu divided by sigma. 165 is R X bar, that is mean. And 163 is our population mean divided by 1.5, that is our standard deviation of the population. And formula is now 2 by 1.5. So now value of Z, you can see 1.33. Now what we have to do, you can see this is the normal distribution curve. Here is the mu 165. 160 163 and 165. So determine how many standard deviation is 165 grams from the mean. So this one is the 133 gram is 1.33 standard deviation from the mean. But now the question is this, how if I randomly select as product from the factory what is the probability that the weight of that product would be greater than 165 grams? When I am selecting randomly any product, so what is the probability the weight of that particular product would be greater than 165 grams? Now, already we know Z value we had already calculated with the help of these values. 165. 3 grams, 1.5 grams and 165 grams. Now you can see 163, 165, Z value. This is the table. This is our calculated value. So first of all, we will find out what is the critical value with the help of the table. When I had tried to find out critical value, right? This is 0 0.4082. That is our table value from Z table at the rate of Z equal to 1.33. So this is the green shaded area that is our acceptable region. And this is the red shaded area that is our rejection region. So how we are going to calculate area under the shaded region red? What is the because left over we will this complete area is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.408, that is our table value. What is the left out that is critical area? So, at this case, this critical area, I can write here 0 0.0918. This is my rejection region. So, if I randomly select a ball, from the given population, then the probability of its weight being one greater than 165 gram is 9.18 percentage, right? Because what we are doing here is we are failed 
we, we, we will reject null hypothesis because that is the area that shows acceptance of the null hypothesis. Rest of the region where we are going to accept alternate hypothesis because red region, that means or null hypothesis is rejected, then alternate hypothesis is accepted. So that means we can say these are the weight being greater than 165 gram is 9.8 percent. That means we are rejecting this null hypothesis where is already it has been mentioned 163 gram would be average weight in the lot. So finally, what we have done is probability of the acceptance that would be our rejection region. And here is null hypothesis is rejected and alternate hypothesis is accepted. That shows mean value of the selected product would not be average weight of that particular product would not be 163 grams. That would be greater than 163 grams. So I hope this video would be helpful to you. Keep watching, stay tuned.